Well, what's everyone? It's Matt Mrozik, and this will be my first review for what I got at Wonderfest this year. And uh, I told um, I told Gary I'd do his pieces first since he was so cool to me as usual. So these are Batman busts produced by Resin Dust Kits in uh, or Gary Haven, and this company's called Resin Resin Dust Kits. Ended up getting a few of his busts a few years ago, which I have yet to paint. Um, these were sculpted by Gabe Perna, and if anyone knows Gabe Perna, then he probably knows work pretty well. But uh, this was the very first thing I ended up purchasing uh, at Wonderfest, and I ended up getting these on, I think it was maybe Friday when I was perusing the dealer room as people were setting up. <coughs> super, super amazing sculpts. The details are insane. He's got two sizes. As far as scale goes, this one, there really isn't a scale. They printed these on the form, too. And Gary basically said he just made it as big as the build the build volume would go. If I had to give you a scale, I would say it's probably uh, maybe it's bigger than one quarter, maybe closer to one third scale. Um, this guy right here is probably close to like one sixth scale. I'd say he's like one sixth scale, so maybe one third scale here between one quarter and one third. It's not one half definitely, but it's somewhere in between. Uh, so like for size wise on the base if you're looking at on my tape measures so I got my, my ruler here So the top of his ears you're looking right at nine and a half inches for the big guy and for the little guy you're looking at uh, Five and three quarters so um, So let's just look at the big guy because they're the same piece just different sizes and you can see the, the sculpted better on stuff better on him but uh, it comes in three pieces, or four if you count the, the little peg, but the head sculpted there. My focusing point right there in the middle. Um, hopefully that was in focus, in the first part. I'm using my new camera again, so I'm learning how to shoot video on it, because I've never shot a video with a DSLR, so it's my first time kind of doing this. So that first part of the video may be out of focus, but it's okay. You know how my videos are. They're very non polished Polish videos okay so we have the head the shoulders the round part of the base and we have an acrylic rod so the base really isn't anything, anything too crazy special but it's fine and simple just a round base perfectly casted um, like don't even need to, need to sand the bottom smooth it's perfectly smooth a little acrylic rod and we have his shoulders here um, the detail and stuff on this is insane. I love this trench coat that he's got going on. The only thing that needs cleanup is this pore spout right there. That's it. There's no mold line anywhere that I can see. If it's there, I don't see it. So I'm assuming this is a one piece mold on this because the only part I see that needs cleanup is that right there. So super, super cool. Great texture. Um, this actually could be a, a relatively quick paint up, so um, yeah, I do see a slight uh, representation of print layers right here, but that will be taken care of with some primer, um, but that's really it, so nothing but positive things to say about that. Let's look at his head. So the head is a crazy good sculpt by Gabe Perna. Gabe is an amazing sculptor, by the way. Um, and uh, talking to Gary, and he even pointed out before I did, the only thing that I would say is a negative, and it's a very small negative, is that the mold line is right here along the side of his face. And as we were talking, he's like, yeah, I should probably, probably, probably should have put the mold line like right along here in this little seam here, but um, he didn't. <laughs> so that's, only, that's my only really crit on this piece is the mold line right there. And it's actually not that bad. It's very minimal. It will take some retexturing of the surface to get rid of that. So basically you have to sand it out. And then I'll take like some Mr. Mr. Um, Surfacer 500 primer on a brush, and I'll just kind of stipple it on there, and then just slightly sand it. It should replicate that texture pretty pretty easily. Um, the portrait's great. I mean, you don't see much of the portrait because it's under the cowl, but it's great. Great features, a very strong jawline. I really like it. Um, so another great piece by uh, Resin Dust Kits and Gary. Um, so I'll put a, I think it's a Facebook page. I'll put a link to his Facebook page down below. Again, the only really cleanup is the pore spout here and the, the mold line along the side. But uh, two great pieces. Um, this would be, I mean, they should make a, the rest of this guy. They should make this a full figure. 
That'd be cool. So, yeah, neat. Let's make it a better straight on view of them. I mean, it's a short review. There's really nothing to, there's no complaints. It's just done really well. I love the texture in this coat. It's insane. And just since I have it here, I'll give you basically the same thing, same critique on this one, the, just the mold line on the side of the of the cow rather than putting it kind of in the in the panel line, but sculpt is great. Casting is damn near flawless. It's really great pieces. Um, the big guy uh, goes for 90 and the little guy goes for 45. That's before shipping, so uh, if you want one, give uh, Gary a shout. See if we can get you one. Like these guys don't do um, edition sizes, so I'm sure eventually they just stop making them, but I don't think they do edition sizes. So it's not like it's one of 30 or 40. So yeah, cool piece. All right, so that's the first review, and then uh, stay tuned for the next. Really, really nice piece by Gary. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.